good morning welcome back to the vlog it is day five while wow, these days are going quickly um it's been a long day already it is currently 6 a.m i've been wide awake since 2 a.m working on the blog um rebooking some hotels um so what have we got in store for today we are well just about to nip out to walmart to get some water get some beer um, I need to get a um, USB adapter for my MacBook to do some editing on the vlogs. Um, and then we're going to head down to Cosmo. We've booked in for uh, brunch at the Henry. We'll do a little bit of gambling in Cosmo, make our way over to Bellagio, do our Konami free play there, um, and do some gambling in Bellagio. We'll probably film the conservatory while we're there as well, because we didn't do that last trip. Um, what else are we doing? Then we are booked in this afternoon to um, the Wheel. Basically, what's the what's the website called that we got the tickets off? Vegas.com. Vegas.com, I think, had a special on the if you spent like I think over ten dollars, um, you basically got a hundred dollar voucher. So we ended up booking two tickets separately for um, the Wheel so that we could get the $100 voucher, which enabled us to effectively get tickets to Carrie Underwood on the 6th of March at Resorts World, free of charge. So we wouldn't normally do the wheel, um, but effectively it's cost us $30, I think, each for the wheel and tickets to a concert. So that's why we're doing it. So we're booked in today. I believe we've got to go between 12 o'clock and 4.59. So we're going to probably head down about 4 o'clock so we can try and get um, a little bit of um, kind of golden hour um, before the sun completely sets and then we're gonna go to dinner at Bevet's um, which we're really really looking forward to um, so yeah again just gonna be pottering around um, hopefully we'll bring you a little bit more content than the last vlog um, and one thing I will add actually is this morning I was looking at our itinerary and doing a few searches of the hotels. So originally we were booked into Resorts World on the 6th of March, as I said, for the concert. Um, and we were going to book into Fountain Blue on the 5th of March and do one night in Fountain Blue and one night in Resorts World. The total cost of that was about 380 US dollars for the two. But then when I went on to, now that we've got our accounts, I linked and activated our online accounts, I noticed that there is a two night offer, $135 a night, um, and you get $125 food and beverage credit. So the two nights at Fountain Blue came to $408. So it was like an extra $30 to stay in Fountain Blue, which I think is considerably better than Resorts World. And now obviously we have $125 additional food and beverage credit. So for that weekend, we're now going to have um, $325 in food and beverage at Fountain Blue because of the $100 each for the tier matching. And we've got $50 food and beverage in Resorts World and $50 uh, free play. So in total, $425 worth of goodies. So um, yeah, we've just confirmed the booking this morning. So really excited to stay at Fountain Blue. Really excited to vlog it. I know a lot of the, a few of the vloggers have been for gambling and dinner. Um, I'm not sure of any that have actually stayed there. So yeah, well, it's um, looking forward to that stay. And looking forward to to bringing you that video. So we're gonna now shoot off to Walmart, get these bits and bobs, um, and start our day. got distracted by the pizzas oh, I'd love to have a Walmart where we are savory breakfast pizza on a biscuit crust with pepper gravy that sounds insane all right getting distracted let's go to the bakery and get our muffins these are the best muffins in my opinion best muffins in the US where are they and they've got Emily's favorite although best lemon meringue pie is Perkins 
which are all Marie calendars, but Perkins is better, um, which we get a lot in Florida. And apparently there's one just outside Laughlin. So when we come back into Vegas, that's actually where we're going to make a stop in Boulder City um, and get a Perkins so Emily can get a lemon meringue pie. And these are the uh, muffins, the blueberry streusels. Absolutely amazing. Um, whenever we come into supermarkets, whenever we travel, we love going around supermarkets, but we'll always check out the sauce aisle and look for sauces. These are some of my favorites that we sometimes can get and can't get. Ken's Steakhouse. Um, we like also the branded stuff. Uh, what's it called? Panda Express, the orange chicken sauce. We've had a few times as well. Oh, we love honey mustard. Ooh, that looks nice, that raise. It's only 322, that's cheap. Should we get one? Yeah. All right. We've got space. We don't worry about weight. We'll find room. Shock horror, Emily is on the hunt for crisps. Ooh, Emily, Emily, come back. Look what I've just spotted. <gasps> Reese's popcorn. Loves a bag of crisps, does our Emily. Bag of crisps and a dip. She usually has the Doritos sour cream and chive dip. They don't do it in the US. No, like the one I had last time, that jalapeno. The jalapeno one. This one? No, it was Dorito. It, it specifically Doritos, so I haven't got it. Dorito dip? Mm. You mean Lay's? No, it was Dorito. Doritos. Doritos? Don't see any Doritos dips here. Oh, she's happy. What is it? Let's have a look. Cool Ranch jalapeno. Yeah. All right, this is my favorite aisle. Let's see. What we're we gonna get? I think we'll get some we'll get some ciders, yeah. ciders and some beers. All right, we'll take a look around. We'll show you the goodies once we've decided what we're having. All right, they haven't got a great selection of uh, of anything really, or certainly ciders. So Emily's gone for eight oh five. I'm gonna get a crate of mango cart, and then we're gonna try and find a, a Lee's liquor later or somewhere that's open and uh, get some cider. All right, uh, we have just left the room. It is quarter to 11. We're making our way over to Cosmo for uh, breakfast at Henry. We got back about 8 a.m. Uh, Emily went to bed for two hours. I've been working, well, trying to fix the issues with the laptop and with the vlog. Unfortunately, it looks like we've run into a critical error. Um, the vlog that I did the first day, travel day, somehow has turned out to be 999 gigabytes. It's basically a terabyte. And I started editing on my one terabyte hard drive, not my four terabyte hard drive. And I can't do anything with it. I can't share. Um, I can't reduce the size I've tried. Anyway, long story short, it means that I'm probably gonna have to delete the whole video and re-edit an hour and a half vlog. It is Wednesday, is it Wednesday today? It's Tuesday. Uh, it's Tuesday today, and I need to get it out Friday morning, so uh, that means that I'm gonna have to find two to three hours over the next 24 to 48 hours and redo the entire one and a half hour vlog, which I'm not looking forward to. So uh, yeah, I've been stressing for the last two hours, literally, Googling a million different things, trying to get, um, trying to find solutions to the problem, and I can't. Uh, I'm just hopeful that we don't need to delay the release of the video. Hopefully, we can still get it out on Saturday. But anyway, we are making our way to Cosmo. Like I said, we are absolutely starving. I've now been awake nine hours with nothing. So uh, yeah, I am ready for a feast. So I'll pick it up when we get there. All right, we are doing the oops. We're doing the cut through from Madara to Cosmo. Uh, I personally don't think this is any quicker coming from Nomad to Aria, then to Vidara, and then to Cosmo. I don't think it's any longer, any quicker than doing the normal way through the shops, but Emily thinks it is, so we're gonna give it a try out. And see exactly where it brings us out, and if it is actually quicker.
the casinos are literally dead. I know it's 11 o'clock, but Aria was dead. Funnily enough, half the machines were switched off. It gave us flashbacks of the... Flashbacks of September from the hack. But it's just so quiet, like, there's no noise, apart from the music, obviously. It's just, uh, yeah, very, very quiet, and even in Cosmo, which is strange. I'm guessing that everybody who's in town is here for the conferences. All right, we made it to Henry, or the Henry. Let's get some food. just finished in the Henry uh, and I've got to say that was absolutely fantastic. Um, I actually said it was better than Yardbird. The beignets were so soft and light, covered in icing sugar with a really sweet but tart lemon curd. The breakfast burrito was really good. I mean it's a breakfast burrito so you're obviously limited to how good it can be. Um, Emily, slow down. So. I, I'll, 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 get, I'll get back to why I said it, hold on. And the short rib was exceptional. So yeah, overall, absolutely fantastic uh, breakfast, stroke, and lunch. See, you can be positive about something. Yeah, I can be positive. <laughs> if, if it's good, I'm positive. Make it comes across um, like right and visible, kid. I know, I'll come across as Victor Meldrew. <laughs> um, so, I said slow down Emily because to settle our debate, to settle our debate, we're walking back to Park MGM, not just to settle a debate, but because um, I need to try and fix this issue with the laptop. Um, so we're walking back with the shortcut. And then once I've sorted everything out, we're gonna walk back the normal way to the Henry and go across to the Bellagio. So we've set a timer, we're walking across at normal pace and we'll see which one is faster. I've got my money on shops. Emily's got her money on the cutter. Yeah. All right, to the lift lobby is 1440. All right, we have left the room and we are making our way back to the Henry in Cosmo to get a definitive, definitive answer on which way is quicker. All right, we got fifty dollars riding on this. I never, this I never agreed to fifty dollars. I just said, "Oh, that was just safe." Uh, and once again, I'm backing out of the bet. All right, here's the Henry. Shows the clock. Two minutes faster. Oh, it's two minutes faster. Oh, I do like to be right. All right, we jumped on a Lightning Link Kung Fu Master. As you see, Major is maxed out at one thousand, doing one cent denom, one dollar bets. We got a hundred dollars in. One more. Ooh. Be nice to get a first spin bonus. Looking for six orbs. Very very loud. Let's turn that down a bit. Sorry, cocktail waitress came. So we're looking for three of these or six of the orbs. our first bit of gambling it is 
quarter to one, just under the first drink as well. Emily's on the prime. I'm going on to the cause light, it's just pure sugar. And uh, we'll come back if we get something. All right, so we got down to $77. We're on, uh, change the domination to two cents, one dollar. So some decent uh, balls there. Just over $10 so far. Mini is $20, minor is $100. And of course the major is maxed out. This machine is very loud. Come on, drop a mini or a minor, please. Or a major. Mini's just gone by. First bonus of the day. Thank you. Thank you. All right, got a calls light to start the day. Come on, three more for the grand. One more for the uh, music change. All right, last spin, save the day. All right, a little something, something. $28, puts us back over 100. So we'll keep it going, do a couple of backup spins live. And we'll come back if we get something. All right, so we cashed out our $80 Tito and we moved on to Ancient Wheel. Uh, as you can see here, the minor is 57 and the mini is 27. On this one, the minor is 82 and the mini is 50. So we're gonna give this a little play. We've, uh, we've both played this before and had some decent luck on it, so we'll do one sending on one dollar bets. We're looking for ancient wheels across all of them for the bonus. All three of the features. Yeah, runner would have been a nice pay. All right, we'll come back if we get something. All right, we got the bonus. You need the feature on the first three reels. We land. Let's see how many we're gonna get. Tens would be nice. Keep going, keep going. That'll do. All right, 10 free games. Here we go. Starting all the wilds. So we got 50 wilds. All right, buffaloes. Oh, it changed. Oh, these aren't the wilds. These are the... Uh, I thought they were wild. They're the ones that change. Okay. All right, line up, line up. Nice. I'm tempted to touch it, but I'll let it play out. All right, we're up to 9.48. Three out of 10 done. Seven more spins to go. Oh god, this is slow. I hate slow games. I hate just seeing it. Alright, a little something. So far, $9.96. So, are you one of those people? Let us know in the comments. Are you one of those people who just like to. Hit the button pretty quickly and skip through the bonuses, or are you one of those that like to watch the whole thing out and not touch it? Emily, me and Emily are different. All right, that should be a nice little uh, hit. So Emily used to, if she hit a bonus or any line hit, she would never touch the button. Whereas as soon as I get a line hit, tap it and onto the next spin. 
Right, we're up to 16. Come on, line it up, Buffalo. No. Elefante. No. Last spin. All right. Nothing there. Sixteen dollars twelve cents. Puts us back up to ninety dollars. We'll do a couple of backup spins live. All the way. Oh, if we'd had that with the ancient wheel. We would have got the bonus. All right. Oh, we'll come back if we get something else. All right, we played down to seventy dollars. Gone very quiet now, so we're going to cash out and uh, move on to. What's that game behind us? Moolah. We're gonna go on Moolah. Alright, we cashed out of Moolah with $49. We're making our way over towards the Bellagio walkway. So uh, we're gonna put the last $50 in the slots over in the back corner. So I'll pick it up when we jump on a machine. Alright, so our last $45 we're gonna put into Goldstacks 88. $1.36 bet, our usual. See if we can get that bonus. Mini is 20. This game is always very loud. Mini is 20, minor 60. Major 1,118. Perfect amount for a hand pay to avoid tax. All right, we'll come back if we get something. All right, we hit the bonus. We had a $16 line hit. We'd got down to about $9. We got a $16 line hit and then we got the bonus. Uh, let's go for eight free grains, 28 wilds. Be great if we can set the bonus off within the bonus, set the fireworks off. The jackpot feature. Mini is 20, minor 60, major 1100. Well, fireworks, fireworks, fireworks. No. We want that progressive bonus. All the way, all the way, all the way. Nice. $23. All the way across. That's another nice hit. Up to 35 now. Halfway through, all the way, all the way, all the way. Come on, let's set that progressive bonus off. Takes us to 44. All the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. Nice. All right, up to 65. Keep going. Come on, don't go quiet on us. Last spin. Oh. Well, you know what? Can't complain. That is why I love playing this game. 71 and 92 takes us back up to $97. We'll do a couple of backup spins live. And we'll come back if we get anything else. Go on, set the fireworks up. We'll be back. All right, we are cashing out our eighty dollar Tito, and we're going to head over to Bellagio. Alrighty, on our way on the walkway now to Bellagio, we're going to go to the MGM Rewards desk and do our My Vegas twenty five dollar Konami free play. By the time we're on half one, we're going to do a couple of hours gambling uh, and slowly make our way towards the link to the eye. Uh, we'll probably aim to get on there around 3.30, 4 o'clock. So I'll pick it up once we've got our free play and we're on a machine. All right, just remember it's called the High Roller. So that's what we're going on at 3.30, 4 o'clock.
that's the first no queue at the MGM Rewards desk in Bellagio. All right, we just activated our $25 free play. And we're back on the old faithful prosperity link because the major's at 9 at 65. So we're going to play this, uh, play this $25 down. Same bet, one cent, $1.76. Let's see what we can turn our $25 into. Slow that speed down, get that volume up. Let's go. Obviously looking for six orbs or three free spins. All right, we'll come back if we get something. All right, we turned our $25 into 40 cents. That was dreadful. So we're just gonna spin this last $5 down. We'll change down to 88 cents. And we've already won more than we won for $25. All right, we're gonna jump on a different machine. See how Emily's done. I think Emily's gonna have beaten me. Be pretty difficult not to have got more. All right, off we go. All right, so we just jumped on Conan. We put twenty dollars in. We're down to ten dollars, and we hit the bonus ten free spins. One cent Dion, seventy-five cent bet. Let's see what we can get. Well, I drop numbers all the way across. All the way, keep going, keep going. Back for 75 so far. Not looking good. Keep going, keep going. All right. Oh, God. 175, what multiplier are we going to get? <laughs> 15x would be nice, or 25x, or the minor. Stop, 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 7x will do. It's going to go to 2, though, isn't it? Yeah. You just knew it. Alright, three dollars fifteen. Nice. Wheel, wheel. Nice. Keep going. Nice. All the way across. Alright. So we got three, six, eight, seventy-five. What are we gonna get for the multipliers? It's gonna be two again. Majors 966. Yeah. 2x. Not bad. Takes us to 26.95. Wheel again. No. Alright. 150. Alright. 28.45. On Kona. Source your own. Alright, we cashed out our thirty dollar Tito from Conan, Emily's on coin combo. Emily, what did you get for your free play? Five dollars. Alright, well it's uh, considerably more than my forty cents. So um, we're gonna jump on a machine. Well, let's see what Emily does. On coin combo, one cent, Dinom eighty eight cent there. Yeah, I gotta say, I'm not a fan of coin combo. I like it, but I just don't think it was We won once quite big in uh, Aria, didn't we? And that was it. I had a good one. Alright, I'm gonna go spin down my $30 on something. Alright, we jumped on to Mighty Cash doing one cent Dinom, 88 cents a bet, and we hit the free games feature, 16 free games. So we're looking for six of the orbs 
these for the bonus in a bonus. And any of the green coins can set off the, uh, the Mighty Cash Ultra bonus as well. It's extremely loud here, we got a bank of a Dragon Link directly behind us. Alright, retrigger. One more for the retrigger. Three more for the bonus. Alright, retrigger. An additional eight free games. That's 24 games in total. No way. Back to back retriggers. Still looking for six of those orbs to set off the feature. We're on game eight of 24. Come on, let's land all six and get the feature. We had a good win on this at the Venetian on the $2, I think it was $2.50 bet. Oh, that would have been nice. Miner is $30. Two more, yes. Oh, and we've won the maxi. We've just hit $500. Are you kidding me? Did we just hit the maxi? Oh my God, we just hit the maxi. We just won $500. No way. On an 88 cent bet. Emily is not gonna believe me. Wow. Wow, we've still got three spins in this game and we're only on 14 spins out of 24. If you fill it, I believe it doubles. Surely the maxi can't be doubled. All right, one spin left. Can we fill all three? No. Wow. I still don't actually believe that that's going to be a $500 Tito on an 88 cent bet. Oh my word it is. Wow. Dragon Link. Sorry, uh, Mighty Cash, not Dragon Link. Wow. And we still have 10 games left in the bonus. Holy moly, what a great win. It's been a long time since we've had a big hit like that. In fact, funny enough, the last time I got a six, $700 win was on Mighty Cash in the Win Hotel. So we're on game 18 of 24. It would be great to get the bonus in the bonus again, but I'm not gonna be greedy. I'm really hoping Emily doesn't come over and find me because I want to go back and show her the video and say, just watch this and see what her reaction is. Ooh, three more. All right, two spins left. Pretty think that's going to be all she wrote. We are not complaining. $536 is incredible. What a win on an 88 cent bet. That is incredible. Can you believe that I was on that machine and she was sat right behind me the whole time? I'm gonna show her the video and then I'm gonna show you her face. All right, the uh, alarms are going off in Bellagio. Uh, just showed Emily the video. Not happy, no well done, congratulations. Just, oh, oh I didn't get you're one. taking money out of my pockets. <laughs> anyway, that is great. So that's $550 going straight into the kitty. I think I still have my full 400 left for the day. Um, so you know what? I've been feeling a bit down today because of all the issues with the laptops and uh, potentially not being able to get the vlog out. And then to hit a $500 maxi on an 88 cent bet, 
is incredible. So uh, yeah, feeling a lot, lot better now. Onwards we go. Onwards and upwards. All right, we're gonna jump on, hop and mop off, put a hundred dollars in, do one cent in on uh, one dollar fifty minutes. Looking for three saws or six of the yellow hats. And as always, we'll come back if we get a bonus or a line hit. One more. All right, we'll be back. All right, seems our luck is in in Bellagio, down to 92.60, and we hit the wheel feature. I would love a mansions right now. Oh, bus saw. Not mega hat. Certainly don't. Not the many. All right, mega hat feature. The saw feature would have been actually really good because we've got all three on the top line. But never mind. Are we gonna land more than four? Now, there we go, six, that'll do. Over three for a retrigger. Let's try and get at least three or four mansions. Maybe just one. Oh, come on. Hop on, pop. Don't do the dirty. All right, one more, one more. All right, two wooden houses. We need at least one mansion. All right. Not expecting much on this. Here he comes. I'll huff, I'll puff. Oh, again with the fire alarm. They've just turned it off and it's gone straight back on again. All right, $10 so far. Vinny is $10, can we get any coins? No. All right, you know what, that's not too bad. Could have been better, but could have been worse. All right, we'll do a couple of backup spins live. And we'll come back if we get something else. All right, we've been spinning it down. Three more. No, we're going to take it down to 50. It's gone pretty quiet now. And then we're going to cash out and make our way over to the high roller. Come on, just give us one more bonus. Three more. And finally the alarm's gone off. All right. Cashing out and moving on to the high roller. But actually, you know what? Let's just play it down. Let's do $3.75 spins. Come on, one more. Oh, bonus on 375 would be nice. All right, $9 line hit. All right, piggies across. We'll come back if we get something decent. All right, we have not hit a single thing last spin. $2.82, we'll do a 225 spin. All right, and we are heading to the high roller. Let's do a wager saver. Nope. All right. Pick it up when we get there. All right, we are heading out of the Bellagio after a successful afternoon. Well, for me anyway. Um, not so much for Emily. Um, $30 down. Are you only, oh, only $30 down? She had a couple of wins at the end there. Um, well, I bought $100 through Hub and Puff doing the big bets. Um, so yeah, we are heading over to the Link Promenade and to the High Roller. So I'll pick it up when we get on uh, when we get over there.
Yeah. Is he? We've got to place ourselves. Alright, it's time for an ice cream sundae. Just a light snack before dinner in three hours. <laughs> that looks incredible. Salted caramel, vanilla, brownie. Well, that was bloody awful. Alright, just finished in uh, Ghirardelli's. Had the Land's End sundae with brownie, vanilla ice cream, caramel, chocolate and hot fudge sauce and it was absolutely amazing. So, I don't have a sweet tooth. I never order a dessert, I never have ice cream. We go out, it's always a start and a main course for me. Uh, I just don't enjoy desserts. But I have to say, I really enjoyed that. Really, really nice. It's about uh, $20, I think. It filled us two, two of us up, to be honest. It could probably do three or four people. Um, we're not eating for four hours, so it'll fill a nice gap. Anyway, heading back to Nomad, if you don't want me to get there. All right, so we were just cutting through Flamingo, so uh, we thought, why not go outside and have a look at the flamingos? Well, we've done it. Um, absolutely stinks. It's like walking through Camden Fish Market. Yeah, if, uh, if like Emily, you don't like the smell of fish, uh, don't go out there. It's pretty pungent. Right, we are, excuse you, um, we are just in Park M Gym, just leaving the room, just got changed, ready for dinner, we're all smartly dressed. Sort of. Sort of, yeah, we don't really do dressing up on holiday, I like to keep it casual. Um, managed to somewhat fix the issues with the vlog, I've managed to sort out the technical problem, so I've got storage, but I have had to delete the entire first vlog. Uh, sorry, so someone uh, got in the lift. Yeah, so I've had to delete the entire first vlog. Um, full hour and a half vlog. Which means that I have to completely redo it and re-edit the whole thing. So, uh, good news, obviously for you guys, is that um, we have sorted out the issues. The bad news for me is that I've got to spend the next, well not the next three or four hours, but three or four hours within the next two days redoing the entire vlog. Um, obviously by the time you're watching this you would have already seen that four or five weeks ago um, but obviously yeah for me it's real time it's happening right now as we speak so uh, anyway we are walking into the casino now we're gonna go check prosperity link see if that big bonus that's the uh, big major is still there jump on our machine and then head to Babette's for dinner at 7 45 we'll pick it up when we get on the machine all right, so we put $200 in. We're on 5% denom. We're doing $1.90 a bet. Let's go. Can we do it on the first spin? No. All right, decent little hit to start. $9.
All right, you know the drill. We'll come back if we get up. Go on, throw some orbs down. Wilds, 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 wilds. All right, seems active. So uh, we'll come back if we get a really good line hit or a bonus. All right, nothing so far. We've landed two free spins about four or five times. There you go, six times. And we've not landed it once with... I didn't make much sense, but you know what I'm talking about. If it down to 150, we might change the nomination. It's gone a bit quiet. All right, welcome back if we get something decent. All right, we paid down to 107. We've been changing the nominations between 176 and 352. We've not hit anything really. Uh, can't get the bonus. So we're going to pay down to 100. And then we're going to find a different machine. All right, two spins left. Come on, something. The amount of times we've landed two of the three spins. Last spin. Save the day. Come on, set it off, set it off, set it off. Alright, cashing out and moving on. Alright, we weren't feeling that last game, so we dumped, jumped on Dancing Drums Mini $17 minor 30. We got $80 left. We're gonna do $1.76 bets. One second, Emily wants to show me something. All right, let's see if we can uh, close the part and get a bonus. We haven't had a bonus yet, have we? There we go. See? That's me saying we haven't had a bonus, then we land it straight away. All right, straight down the middle, yeah? 1680 pay. See what we can do. See if we can close the pot all across. Come on. Majors 862, minor 30, mini 17. This is our third spin to 23.90 so far. Come on, this is a great. All right, last spin, we need something big. Pots all the way across. All right, that's a little bit of something, something. $36 line hit. Takes us to 61.30, not bad. I know, yeah, Food Dog there would have been very good, nice. All right, not bad for a bonus on, I think, the third spin. We'll do a couple of backup spins live, and then we'll come back if we get anything else. All right, we've been bouncing around for about 30 minutes with no joy. So we've gone on Dragon Link, Golden Century. We're going to do one cent Denom, one dollar bets. We've got $60 left. Let's see what we can do. Let's get that volume up. Looking for six orbs or three flags for the bonus. Play down to 50, alive. One more, ooh. All right, we'll come back if we get something. All right, we're in the bonus. Turn that volume down. We're on a two cent, one dollar bet. There we go. Six free spins. Looking for orbs. All right, it's five dollar twenty on the first hit. All right, a little bit quiet. Come on, drop the orbs. Orbs, 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 orbs. All right now, orbs. Uh, Two spins left. All right, wilds across. Chenda. 
12, 60, last spin, looking for balls, come on. Orbs, orbs, orbs. Need one here. All right, 12, 60, keeps us going. Do a couple of backup spins live. And we'll come back if we get anything else. All right, we got down to our last $10, so we dropped it to a 50 cent bet. And of course, we hit the bonus on the first spin. Always the way. Let's see what we can get. Looking for the orbs. Come on, we need a bonus in the bonus here. Right, balls. Oy. Come on, don't do us the dirty again. Balls, balls, balls. Nines. Two dollar twenty-five so far. Two spins left. Two dollar thirty bonus. All right. All right, that's decent. Nine dollars forty takes us to eleven seventy. Right, balls. Nope. All right. Takes us to twenty-one thirty-seven. Keeps us going. Do a few backup spins live. And I'll come back if we get anything else. Literally predicted that bonus. First one here and it went. Second, third, bang. There we go. Two cents, one dollar bet. Our reservation is in 10 minutes, so hopefully it's something good and we can cash out. If not, we'll just spin it down. Looking for the bonus and the bonus. Orbs. Now, now, orbs, 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 orbs. Wiles, you blocker. Ah, oh, typical. Orbs, orbs, orbs. Ay, ay, ay. Don't do the dirty again. Now it'll give us orbs, told ya. You rat bag. Right, orbs, orbs, gotta be. Oh my word. $3.28. Seriously, come on, last spin. We need orbs. Let's see if this does anything. Can't do any harm. Orbs, orbs, no. Yes, orbs, oh you. And not even on there. Wow. I thought the previous, the 50 cent bonus was better. $3.78. All right, guess we'll be uh, spinning it down and rather than cashing out.
All right, we have just finished in um, Babette's Steakhouse, just in the Nomad lobby, waiting for Emily. She's just gone upstairs to change her shoes. So I thought I'd do a quick recap of tonight's dinner. Got to say that was an extremely enjoyable dinner. Um, I would give it a 9.9 .9 out of 10. The ambience, the styling of the restaurant itself, the waiter, the staff that we had, the food, everything was absolutely incredible. So we ordered the bread with salted butter to start, which was lovely. Um, chalk and cheese from the bread that we had yesterday at Mandalay Bay. We ordered three starters because it's the first time I've looked at a menu and said I fancy three, uh, three uh, salads, sorry. And Emily was like, yeah, okay. And when we spoke to the waiter, he said they are very, very popular and very, very good. So we ordered a bacon tomato salad. We ordered a ranch cob salad. And we ordered a salmon Caesar salad. Uh, from favorite first to third, the bacon tomato salad was incredible. We've watched a lot of vlogs and a lot of food reviews of um, Bavettes, and we've always kind of wondered, why is everyone ordering this bacon? Oh my God, this bacon. This bacon is unreal. It's like candied bacon. Um, I'm presuming it's like a maple bourbon or something. Um, it's absolutely incredible. And the sauce that was made with the salad was uh, obviously a maple bacon fat, bacon juice dressing, roasted tomatoes. It was insane. Emily's favorite was the cob salad, which was actually my third favorite. Uh, my second favorite was the smoked salmon Caesar, which was exceptional. The steak, we ordered the six ounce fillet steak each, medium, cooked absolutely perfectly. What I like is they give you proper steak knives and they even give you a small pot of um, like smoked garlic uh, salt that you can add to your steak. Steak was perfectly cooked, nice char on the outside, pink in the middle, warm. Um, we had it with Bernays sauce, with garlic mash and with cream spinach. Um, and the sides, I'm not going to say the sides are let them let the meal down, but the sides were very, very rich. The garlic mash is super rich. The cream spinach is probably more cheesy spinach than creamed spinach. Um, I dread to think how much butter was in those two dishes and the Bernay sauce. And the only thing that kind of really let me down for, the, for this place was the Bernays sauce was cold. Um, you quite often get Bernays sauce or Bernays butter. I think it's more of an American thing where it's served cold, typically in the UK, Europe, um, it's always served warm or hot. Um, so yeah, very, very rich, very, very enjoyable. And I think overall, it might just pip uh, Meat Bazaar as the best steakhouse that we've done ever, possibly. Not just in Vegas. I'm trying to think of a state that I've had. I did enjoy Gallagher's in New York. Gallagher's in Vegas is not very good. Gallagher's in New York was exceptional as well. Um, but very different to Meat Bazaar because Meat Bazaar is a little bit more fancy and posh and modern, whereas this is, this literally transports you back 70 years ago. Um, but yeah, very, very rich, but very, very enjoyable. Um, I dread to think how many calories we've had. Short rib Benedict, beignets. That bacon. Um, the burrito, the, the, the Girardelli ice cream, and then three salads, a steak dinner. Oh, God. Um, and Emily wanted to order an lemon meringue pie, I'm but there was just no room. Desperate. But we'll, we'll get one I'll another what, day. I want to do it and compare it to Perkins. I know it sounds ridiculous, but I just yeah. think it'd be quite a good comparison yeah. to me because... Um, so yeah, a thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyable meal. Like I said, that's uh, a 9.9, 9.9 for me. Did you um, check how much the bacon was as a side or no? No, I didn't. Okay. So yeah, a little tip, I can't remember the exact amount. I think it was about nine or $10 to order two pieces of bacon on the side. What I would suggest you do is order the bacon uh, tomato salad because you get two pieces of bacon on it and it's about $12 or $13. And obviously you get the salad, the tomato and the dressing. And that's the nicest salad I've ever had. 
I could order that. The, we ordered the half portions. I could order the full portion for lunch easily. And if you whack that salad with the dressing between two slices of that bread to make a BLT, oh, heaven. Anyway, enough salivating um, over the dinner. That was a very, very good, again, see, I can be positive. Um, Russell was a food critic in his past life. Yeah. So um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna jump back on the floor now. Do some more gambling in Nomad. We might. No, I don't. I want. I'm thinking. I want to go to Cosmo. New York, New York. You want to go to Cosmo? Oh, you want to go to New York, New York? We've got opposite ideas. Oh, oh that means we've got to do that walk again. All right, we'll go to. New I, I just don't fancy it in Park MGM. Sick of it. Um. All right. I was just thinking of getting the comps of the. MGM comps on the gambling here. All right, let's head, we'll head to Cosmo. We'll do an hour or so in Cosmo and then we'll probably finish the night here in Nomad. So I'll pick it up when we get on the casino floor, whichever one it will be. Alright, we made it into Cosmo and we're playing Miss Kitty Gold. We put eighty dollars in. We're gonna do one dollar twenty bets. Not sure if I've actually ever played this game, you know, Emily. I played wonderful. I love it, but I just. Alright, Kitty is wild. And the bonus symbol is the moon. Yeah. We only started on eighty, yeah. Right. All right, we'll come back if we get something. All right, we moved on to lift off. Not sure what's happening. We've just done a couple of spins. What the hell? Oh, one of these bollocks. No. You're getting exactly the same spins you would normally. We thought we'd won something then. <laughs> so on the first spin, we had him on the second, third, fourth, and fifth reels and full. And we thought, oh great, he must be wild. No, I didn't get a single thing. Wager put a chance at Diamond War. Uh, yeah, Emily's in the mood to play on all her stupid games, so we're doing $80, $40 each, and then we're going our separate ways. What do we get? Alright, $7.80. A little something. All right, we'll come back if we get something decent. All right, we hit the bonus. We've been spinning down on $1.50. We got the bonus on 50 cents. Fill the rocket award to award all prizes. Right, okay. So if you land one in here, it gets all of them and we've got multipliers. Every time you land one, you do get a new spin. I know. I think they're all going to be 50 cents or a dollar. I don't think you've got much chance of getting anything higher. What happens if you fill them all? Double. All right, last spin. I think that's it, yeah. Well, that was about as exciting as watching a plant grow. All right, we are in the bonus again. Let's see if we can get a little bit more money than, uh, was it $12 last time or something? Yeah, need a five dollar or that even that two fifteen the times four would do. 
Well, at least the numbers are a little bit better than the last one. Drop the Mini in the times four, please. No, it'll fill every other one apart from those two. If you land in the Rocket Award, you get all of the, uh, all the numbers together. Right, last spin. Nope. Right, nine dollars. Another fantastic bonus. The only reason we are still playing this game is we're waiting for Nicole to bring the drinks over to us. As soon as we get the drinks, we'll be making a move. All right, we moved on to top dollar and our third spin. 125 credits. Well, that's only our bet back. So, yeah. The selection. She'll say. Try again. No, our bet is 250, Emily. Second offer. Oh, credits. It's not, it's 300 cents, it's 30. Selection. See what she says. Third offer. 425 credits. Make a selection. All right. Let's see what she says. Take the offer. We're going to take it. Oh, it's times 10. I didn't know it was times 10. Why is it times 10? It wasn't. It was $4.25, but we got a 10. Oh, right. Yeah, can you tell I've never played uh, Top Dollar? I don't like Top Dollar, so I don't like any game whereby you have to have an input on what you win. I just want the fucking computer to do it. Sorry, F-bomb. Um, I don't want to be doing maths and making decisions. I pulled the lever, and if I win, I win. Well, Will has got 80 in. What do you want to do? Do you want to get down to 60 and take 30 each and go around? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> Doesn't <laughs> work. Two more spins then and cash out. Two more for the bonus. Last spin. All right, we're going our separate ways. <laughs> it is time to call it a night. Emily is slurring her words. And uh, it's 11 o'clock. I've been awake since 2 a.m. That's 21 hours. I'm ready to, I'm fine. You can stay out if you want, but I mean, I am done. Um, as they say, stick a fork in me, I'm done. Uh, we are heading back, well, we're heading back to Park MGM, uh, Cosmo was a bust. To be honest, that's the first time I've been in Cosmo and really not enjoyed it. Full of finance bros. Oh man, so many finance <laughs> brokers, financial brokers, real estate people. <laughs> like, I work in real estate, I know a lot of people in finance. We're all arseholes. <laughs> we don't want people, we don't want to see <laughs> And them they are right. so loud yeah, and drunk right. and obnoxious. They're having fun, can't blame them, but... Um, it is packed in Cosmo. You literally cannot move. Um, and yeah, when you're as tired as I am today, I'm just like, pfft, can't be dealing with it. Yeah, it's too many conference people in Vegas. Vegas is not for conferences. I know it is, but we want the tourist Vegas, not conference Vegas. Um, so anyway, yeah. As always, if it is the end of the vlog, I will do the wrap up tomorrow morning. Alrighty, it is time for the recap. So uh, yesterday, another good day, uh, albeit a little bit stressful day. Started off the morning with a load of technical issues. The first vlog was taking up one terabyte of um, space. I couldn't transfer it to my four terabyte um, hard drive. 
So I had to go make a trip to Walmart in the morning to buy some new equipment, which unfortunately didn't help. Grabbed a bit of beer, some muffins, and a few bits and bobs. Came back to the room, uh, continued to work on the vlog for the next two, three hours while Emily had a nap, um, but was unable to save it and had to effectively delete everything, uh, including Final Cut Pro, reinstall Final Cut Pro software and start from scratch. Hmm. Uh, so that was a little bit of a stressful morning. Went to Cosmo, the Henry, did the new walkway. Um, I did the uh, walkway challenge and came out winner. Still haven't been paid any money from Emily. Shock horror. Um, I haven't got any to give. <laughs> so, um, yeah, Henry food, really, really good. Beignets. I'm not sure if I mentioned the beignets earlier. Beignets. Oh. So we initially had the donuts down. And they weren't on the menu. And I said to the guy, I, I just we were talking, and I said, "Oh, um, I wonder why the you know we'll, we'll go for the we'll have to go for the beignets then instead of the donuts." And the guy said the beignets are way better than the donuts. He said the beignets are baked fresh; they'll be made right now as soon as I place that order for you. He said that the donuts are just pre-made, and he said, in my opinion, the beignets wipe the floor with the um, with the donuts. They were so soft and nice, covered in icing sugar. We've had beignets in New Orleans and a couple of places, and to be honest, these were the best. Um, came with a lemon curd sauce, which we really like. Obviously, we both like lemon meringue pie. Um, so yeah, that was a great start. Breakfast burrito with chorizo. Breakfast burrito, bang on. Um, it's only so good you can get with a breakfast burrito. And the short rib Benedict, really, really enjoyed it. Didn't think Emily would like it, and actually she really, really liked it as well. Nice hash brown two massive pieces of short rib incredible rich beef gravy which i mean i could have that on a roast dinner any day if i if i actually ate roast dinners because i don't like them but anyway that's a different story um so yeah finished off there walked back to park mgm to try and do a bit more um stuff on the laptop so yeah, we potted around for a few hours in a few different casinos, obviously went to Bellagio, hit a $500 maxi, saved the day for me yesterday on Mighty Cash. Emily always said, don't do Mighty Cash one cent, do it on five cents because you need five balls instead of six and boom, the sixth ball to land was a $500 maxi, thank you. Um, so that was good. Then we went to the Link, we did the Link High Roller. Um, really enjoyed that actually. Nice 30 minutes, nice way to, to, to kill 30 minutes. Had a Girardelli uh, Sunday ice cream, very nice, very, very rich. Three or four hours after having that, we felt it. Um, came back, got ready, went to Bavette's. Top notch, super rich food though. Um, super, super rich food, but really enjoyable. We are thinking of going back on the 8th. I know we said before that we've swapped Bavette's for foundation room. foundation room. We might go back, depending on how we feel, we might go back to Bavette's on our last night. See if they're all foundation room, we'll see. But really, really enjoyed that place. Um, I've actually been dreaming about bacon. I could eat that bacon right now. I'm starving. Um, in terms of gambling, Obviously, of the $500, I put 100 into Huff and Puff doing some big bets and lost it. So I put away 400 in the safe. I came back um, last night with 100. So I've effectively put away $500 last night, which means I am now up to 1200 in the kitty for four days. So I'm only $400 off being break even, which I'm super happy about. Emily Shock Horror came back with a big zero and she's only saved 600 500, 500 which is getting worse she's only saved 500 in the kitty um so yeah no, billy big ball bets, bets over here ain't win anything whereas uh i'm not i'm not doing big bets i'm doing between one to two dollars it's just not paying off and every time i gamble with you we bloody lose everything i know you cursed you are um, yeah, so overall, an enjoyable day. A little bit stressful, like I said, because of the vlog, because I want to make sure that I can get it out on Saturday. And I've just spent all of this morning um, actually redoing the vlog. So it looks like it will be out on time, which is good. So yeah, uh, all that, that leaves me to say is thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed the vlog and are enjoying the series. Hit like, subscribe, and we'll see you next week.